All righty then. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Wednesday night operation. I'm Killer Man Time, and this is Squad Ops Operation Shockwave. And I'm not gonna really get into it. I mowed and did some yard work today, and I my wrists hurt. So let's move on to uh, commands for round one. It's gonna be a fight between the Russians and the militia force. It's Let's see here, we have command for Russia is going to be Dix Folk, with his two eyes being any, uh, Inky. Uh, then we got three other SLs, Nash, Topian, Oddball. Or, wow, that is not Oddball, that's Odele. Oddball's on the other team. Uh, militia side, command is Londarts, with his two IC being DJ Russ. His three other SLs being Bus Driver, Man Stan. His name is too long to fit in there, and, uh... Oddball alongside Sven. Moving on over to the loadouts. Let's see if I got this all. Yeah, it looks like I got it right. For the Russian side, doing this real fast, infantry squad levels will be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, one medic. Platoon armory consists if we have four plus squads, additional two LATs, one ammo bear, five plus squads. Requires, uh, let's see here, 42 players or more. I don't think we meet that tonight. With an additional two lats and one ammo bearer. Uh, vehicles, none. If we had a 4 plus squad or 5 plus squad, we'd have an additional two Tigger open top cords. And if it's a 5 plus squad, it would be a requires, let's see here, additional one MTLB NSVT. Uh, from logistics, we have none. Support is going to be three artillery smoke barrages. Moving on over to the militia side. The militia loadout, infantry squad levels, going to be one SL, two FDLs, one AR, one medic, one radio squad, which is going to be one SL, one engineer, one AR, and one medic, a uh, HVT squad, which is going to be a one HVT own squad. Uh, and then we have the platoon armory, which once again for four plus squads, it's going to be additional two lats and one ammo bearer and five plus squads are requires of 42 players or more. So it'll be an additional two times lat and one times ammo bearer. Vehicles, none. Fob and logistics varies depending on the support of the people, which is a uh, thing I will have to go over here shortly. Various in, uh, NG defensive structures and uh, support varies depending on, once again, the support of the people. So, while I've got that up, let's go and see if I can find that uh, specific thing. And actually, while I do this, I will bring up the op map. We can have a quick look. Yes, I know the op map shows a uh, U.S. flag. It's just reused assets. It's still the same. It's just replace the U.S. flag with the Russian flag. Um, yeah, so let's see here. I got to get a bigger one. The one that I've got on my preview is too small. All right, so we've got two FOB fortification locations, which is going to be the uh, Quarry, uh, well, Quarry, and uh, the one that's closer west to the uh, Mill Rescue. Uh, oh, wow, this is a different map. That's not good. Hmm. Well, that's no good. That's no bueno. All right, guys. Fine. Tonight's operation, Operation Shockwave. Um, we are going to be attacking militia. They have a, a radio. They're trying to contact, uh, you know, for some local support. They're trying to turn the people against us. So we can't have that happening. Uh, they're um, if you open got your maps, guys. Uh, the help markers are the possible locations the enemy radio can be in. And we are going to find it and eliminate it so the people don't get any ideas about us. Uh, we're going to achieve this by, we're going to have Inky, he's going to be taking both the Tigers on a flanking mission south, trying to uh, cut enemy reinforcements coming in from the west. And then we're going to have the other three squads uh, moving in a platoon line, pushing westward. Uh, on the northern end, we'll have uh, Oddly on the 
center we'll have um, Utopia, and then on the southern flank we'll have Nashville. Any questions? Are we allowed to use ammo bags? Uh, I believe only FTLs can have uh, use them and rearm for them. Uh, I believe there's some ammo bear uh, kits out there, which you can rearm off as well. Roger, roger. Hearts and minds whole. Heard. Any other questions? Take that as a no, I, I okay? Just... Squall, let's break them out for live. We're gonna put yeah, what's further up? ahead faster. But, we're live, let's go! Alright, yeah, uh, we're, we're ready for live, by the way. Ah, we are live. Interesting. Let's go, fellers. We're live, boys, to be in here. Let's get a running pace up to the boot marks and then we'll do a walking pace once we get online. Just so we don't want uh, to give them any extra time. Two copy. Squads are weapons free. They know where we're coming from. Got some mines going down. Inky, you got a uh, good eyes uh, from down there. Or what's the sit rep? Uh, we see the southern and eastern towers, but the northern tower. On the north e northwest corner, they cannot see it too well. They you only just okay, it. Oh yeah, okay, my gotcha. bad, my bad, Ethan. <laughs> it's all good, man. We have deployed infantry and we are pushing up to the flank, but we'll stage before we assault. Uh Alright, understood. Uh, two, let's uh get up there, one, so one and three can get online. Copy. One is set. Command three, we've got contact northwest in my Bravo element. Copy. I understood. You're free to engage that. How's down, guys? How close to Q3? Two, you should be south of one. I need you to move south so we can uh, fill the line. Copy. On it. Calling it out as Echo 
Alright, understood. Yeah, we don't push your guys until one and two are uh, set and ready to move with you. Roger that, we're holding position. Uh, four, if you. Okay, never mind, actually. Okay, one. Once you're uh, once you're set, uh, let's begin the uh, let's team the begin the platoon push. First in position. <clears throat> Two set. One. Let me know when you're set. We're set. Let me know when you're set on the north end with uh, squads two and three. Where's two side from? Okay, let's begin the let's begin the push west. Let's have a nice walking mm -hmm. pace, keep the formation. Uh for what's Copy. uh what's the zip rep down there? We are staged up here at the flank. Do we open fire with the tigers to suppress at any point? Uh Alright, understood. Let me know of anything that develops down there. Copy that. Squad's just getting in position, they'll be almost done in a sec. Right, understood. Apocalypse Joe not doing a fantastic job there of uh, concealment. Okay, my uh, skylighting set. hard. We are opening up with the tigers. Enemy skylighting the hill here at the southern edge. Are they on your position? No. They're above us. About 100 meters. Understood. They haven't noticed us yet, though. So they're at the, the Southern Tower at Echo 5-7? Yeah, Echo 4-8 at Delta 5-9 area. Alright, understood. There are figuring it's probably not the best position to be sitting right now, uh, with all that gunfire coming towards him. One, three, and two, make sure you guys uh, are... Not a bad choice, because he's got... Keep a cohesive line. Whose squad is this coming up? Uh, squad Copy. one coming around on the eastern, northeastern side. Looks like they're going to give up the hilltop here. Their R's falling down with uh, his four and Javi. 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 I'm going to call him Javi. No one ever gives me a straight answer on what his name is actually pronounced, uh, but uh, Javi it is. Let's get up to these rocks, yeah. guys. Let's get up to these rocks. Yeah, let me know if there's any contact inside the, the structure at Echo 43. Once you uh, guys get close enough to it. they be in that tower? Anyone got Binox? They might be, but I've checked if they're not in the tower. Come on. Pushing up a little bit. Come on. This is four. Acknowledge. What is it? When do you want the flank to go start? Ugh. If you're if you're comfortable uh, pushing the tears down your position, you can do it now. Okay, but that, it just try to prevent them from tri just try to prevent them from reinforcing from the west and everything. Yeah, I've got guys moving on that those uh on uh, what is it? Echo four three. Alright, understood. Uh, you appear to be slacking. What's happening? 
have a fire team up there. I have a Bravo team here supporting with uh, suppressing them. We're pushing on okay, the, the Bravo team. There's our contacts at the Echo 4-3. Uh, uh, we're gonna... Who are they taking out from across the way? Just, Not sure who so got him. This is unfortunate. Just I think he's the first but death but of the round. Southern Tower. For taking, uh, taking over for one. Uh, uh, all right. Wanna get, get online with uh, squads two and three to your south. Um, uh, you're gonna, we're gonna request a smoke barrage on the, the ravine between uh, your position and the, uh, the towers to your west. And then when the smoke moves, you're gonna, we're gonna move on it. It's like Deckerm and Lemon Sledge just managed to slip by. Not sure what their plan is. Uh, Hosp is going to go and try and take out those vehicles. Uh, three should push the southern tower. One should push the northern tower. And two is going to fill in whichever position they're at. Copy. And the first local villager's roll has happened. They've got another minute before the next roll goes. Got one down. Looks like Javi got taken out. Bear Arse trying to uh, avenge him. Not so fantastically. Oh, wow. Bear Arse got us. Ooh, that was close. That was a close shave right there. Correct. You're to move on the northern western tower away for the smoke. I need, a, I need you guys to request the smoke. I put one down. Did you get it? Is that where you want it? I can't see it. Second that smoke blooms, uh, push across. A firm. See how the flanking crew here is doing. They've got a screen between them and their objective. Nice counter. Yeah, it looks like Deckram and Lemon Sledge are doing some damage to the uh, Russian vehicles. Deckram taking some hits. Deckram takes out Athen. Athen takes out Deckram though, leaving Lemon Sledge all on his own. Oh, Lemon Sludge taken out by Mr. Butters. Can't believe it's not butter. All right. Um, and that is a neutralized two-man crew trying to take out the Vix. Uh, not trying, but it does look like they did manage to uh, obstruct their abilities. And we've got the first smoke mortar coming in. That's Russian smoke mortar. They are pushing uphill. We got lots of contact coming in. Fulcrum down. Dando taken out by Chubbs. Godfather taken out by Heights. It's a fantastic push by the uh, Russian forces uh, coming in on the guys, militia hilltop. Not yet. Still all clear. This could be dangerous for the northeastern right, north side. Um, there is 
a lot, yeah, relatively a lot of militia forces in the back line right. behind the uh, uh, Russians who just pushed in. Uh, does not look like it's going to be that big of a problem. Little Joe has been taken out uh, by possibly Slinger down. Hill, but we are taking contact as we go. Right, understood, uh, Russian forces did a fantastic two, job. We've one. got the flanking crew has taken some damage, possibly a nade. They've lost one. I think that was Inky. I want you to uh, keep eyes to the west and uh, make sure there's no enemy reinforcements pushing in from the west. I'm sorry, guys. What the? Utopian taken out. I do you believe that. Fantango got him. Taken out. Fantago was taken out by Groovy Gamer. No, 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 no. Oh, Groovy Gamer taken out by a nade. Not sure if that was friendly or not. Because there's sh only Londarts and Toot in the tower. I don't think either one of them was in position to toss a nade over that. Hope that wasn't a. Uh... That'd be a clutch throw. Oh, little. That sucks. Well, at least you didn't ki get killed by the enemy. But it's kind of a sad yeah, moment that you killed yourself. Fucking tree branch. Right I think we should me. fall back. Um, we should fall Sorry, back. What's the uh, zip rep in the west. south? Is there any? Uh, is there a radio there? I think we Negative, no radio. In, possibly uh, one last back. contact right, at the top of the tower, but no radio. All right. All right so we've uh, got the militia forces downhill. We've got Lawn Darts as command and two in tower. We've got Alkaline on the exterior. Alkaline getting real close to the entrance. Toot might get an angle on him. Hey, might not have to. Toot tossed out a nade. Hits no one. We've got a uh, Postal and Mr. Toaster downhill. Where did it come from? Frost. Tossing a smoke and door. Not a bad choice. Oh, Oddball coming around the corner, takes out Frost, Alkaline, also taken out by Oddball. Real taken out by possibly Nick of Time. Ball taking some pot shots at the uh, Russian forces sitting out in the open. Charlie Foxtrot taken out by Oddball. Oddball moving for Chubbs. Chubbs taken out by Oddball. Oddball's just eyeing it now. Perfect position. That's the reason why you don't sit out in the open. Always find cover. Always find cover. I mean, look at look at Moon Wolfie here. He found something that would be in between him and that. Good on him. That was a nade. Hit no one. Heights currently moving over towards Moon Wolfie. Moon Wolfie's got, uh, let's see here, Joe Violence Finn and Polar Bear. Polar Bar uh, on the lower hill from him. Four, I want you to start, I want you to start sweeping north, uh, but keeping to the west of two and three. Try to catch any reinforcements. What's going on here? We've got Apocalypse Joe and Knox trying to move around the uh, rock side here. Vital taken out by Oddball. Oddball fell down and killed himself. That is unfortunate. At least I think that was a fall down. Maybe they just traded and that was his body sliding. I'm going to say that was a uh, trade instead of a accidental suicide. Next to the tower. Like 340 and right here, here comes the next contact. supply the from the uh, <laughs> local <laughs> villagers for the militia forces. Jcat looks like he is taken down uh, two. It's uh, Zuba and Mr. Butters. And possibly with the help of Polish Herb there. Correct, yes. Russian forces are not doing so hot. They are bleeding, bleeding troops like no tomorrow here. Watch this northeast side. Don't push any further than this.
two and three, uh, four, four SL went down. Possible reinforcements moving on your west now. Lat into or attempted into the top of the tower. Lawn darts is not on the top floor, so he is safe. Mortars down, takes out three. Spacing is important. Spacing. Come on, guys. Come on. That is, it looks like four people taken out by that small mortar from the militia side. That is unfortunate. The Russian forces just took a massive blow to their already low troop count. So move the rest of your squad up there, Nashville uh, did not even notice his push into the tower and took out two. And Lawn Darts is on the upper floor, tossing a nade down. Does not look like it made it down. Stopped on one of the upper floors. Where? Yeah, I think this was, there might be a squad to uh, your south because we lost one of the teams in the uh, bridge. That was a close nade. Yeah, that nade yeah. came from 245. Uh, oh fuck, where? Uh, where? Inside. Ah, uh, yes. Wood pin. It is a thing in squad. Londar's taking full advantage of that. Heights taken out. Oh, wow, that is unfortunate. I'm not sure who got heights. A lot of shots coming in from the south-southwest. Friendly and not friendly. Penny and D coming up on the rear of Sven. No, we still got contact above us. I'm trying to dig now. Understood. Just uh, get rid of the radio and then we can just hold it. Oh, Penny D almost had him. Almost had Sven. Sven. Oh, did he just go? Nope, he is dead. He died bandaging. That sucks. All right, going back up to the tower where the interesting things are happening. Uh, we've got Nick of Time coming in. Moon Wolfie is down. Nashville in the corner. And it looks like poor Nashville got taken out. Right Bye, nick of time. Let's clear it. We got Apocalypse Joe right on here, the man. interior now. Oh, nick of time gets Apocalypse Joe. It's really hard to get an eye on everything. Get Dick's Folk taken out by Nick of Time. Nick of Time is on a roll on the defense right now. Flame Mage trying his luck. One down. Flame Mage pushing on the outside. Flame Mage possibly gets a trade and takes out Nick of Time. Did we get the Or was that Colty? No, I can't tell. Copy. We got CG Fu and Colty up here. I'll go for the dead, you cover, okay? Copy. I'm covering the west entrance. They can't get up the hill. And we have still got nope, Londarts is dead in the top of the tower. I did not oh, notice that. And we've got a possible friendly fire here. Down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Down the hill. Down the hill. Down the hill. Oh, Colty down. That's the reason why you don't pass the open doorway. Right, they are line. popping Anybody shots in there like no the tomorrow. And it looks like it is just, uh, we've got Space Jam, Cole, no, nope, not Colty. Colty's dead. Uh, CG Fu on point. And I think that's probably it for the Russian forces. Hey, look around, see if there's any. Radio's on no? bleed out. All units remaining. Radio's on bleed out. Copy. I can move to you if you need me. Just let me know. Uh, we need to cover the radio. We have to assume they're gonna frag it, so I'm gonna try and get outside. Copy, copy. How have you not up. been shot yet? Oh, takes that polar bar. And CG Poo is still alive. Surprisingly. Looks like he got 61. Didn't even notice him push up. Bus driver man, Stan, pushing in. Taken out. Wow. Go Space Jam. Taken out bus driver man, Stan, and Stan. Uh, yeah, Stan. Nice duo going on here. 
How long can they keep it up? We have no idea. Let's see here. How many how many militia forces are left? I got one, two, three. I think that's it. There is three v two right now. There must be only one or two left. Ah, uh, they could have got reinforcements. Let's assume there's at least a squad left. Bring him, Abby. I'm ready for him. Copy. How much ammo do you have? Full, basically. Copy. Well, they could come from pretty much any direction. Gotta climb hill, though. JK running on that, running out in the open. Not a good choice. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? The one far south, south tower, half wall. Copy. I'll I poke your head up, CG. You are not in a good position for that. Joe Violence got a perfect position downhill. And it looks like we got GL coming in from Joe Violence. Joe and Rex moving around on to the northeastern side. Is this your smoke? I'm assuming not. Nope. They're GLing okay. us, I think. Might be an FTL. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that was intentional or not but that pretty much just gave their position away we've got a nade going in short Grenade. not making it into the circle repositioning We are looking at Rex and Joe Violence with uh, Space Jam over here on the hillside. Oh, that was a buzzy peak. <laughs> oh, Space Jam taken out by Joe Violence. Unfortunate placement there. Spa looks like Joe Violence is going to toss another nade up. It's going to bounce off the side of the tower. Nowhere near CG Fu. All right, it's up to CG Fu to take out three militiamen. Can he do it? Jovanis coming around the uh, right side. CG Fu takes advantage of the foliage. Perfect. Still got Rex up here with him. Rex is possibly asking whether or not he's still alive and uh, not getting a reply. So that is probably letting him know that he is now the only one on top of the hill. Jcat is making a mad dash over here. Coming up the side to re-link up with Rex. Cat, not sure where CG Fu is. Being very careful about the doorways. Though we all know there's nothing in there, and they shouldn't have to worry about those. Oh, Jcat. Oh boy, almost took a pot at Rex. Not good. Friendly fire is a hazard. Jcat in the most perfect position for CG Fu right now. CG Fu gets JCAT. Rex still alive, coming around the corner there. Will CG Fu see him? No.
Rex thinking he's inside the building is sweeping. Rex getting near the other doorway. Let's go either way. Could be a flick and CG and Rex could trade. Rex could get the drop on CG. Or CG could spot him before Rex spots. Not sure. Rex has taken the uh, smart play here and has gone into the tower. Which is almost a surefire death trap for anyone entering because of the height advantage and the wooden floorboards. CG knows this. Actually lost sight of Rex. Rex has gone all the way to the top of the tower. Wow. He booked it. All right, here we go. Sadly, if I'm not wrong, it is actually Rex who is supposed to be hunting down CG food, not the other way around. But what fun is that? Uh, zoom my FOV all the way out. Get us the best viewing angle for indoors. Not so much outdoors. Where is this guy? How many are left? I heard him in here. CG slowly losing his fuse. Come on, CG, you know. You know exactly where he went. We gotta assault the building now. He's inside. I need to assault the building? Okay. Yes. Oh, I've lost track of Rex. Where is he? There he is. CG coming up. Oh, oh, CG with the pull, getting Rex. Rex had the right idea, but he just didn't Dude, have the trigger. Kind of funny that That's GG for round, round That's one. Amazing. Be right back for round two shortly. That's amazing, though. All right, we're back for round two. Well, that was a surprisingly fantastic end to round one. CG Food coming in clutch and taking out three militiamen. And then playing run, Ring Around the Rosie and uh, climbing up the tower. Uh, with that out of the way, let's move on through the commands for uh, round two. It's just a team flip. So for the Russian side, it's now commanded by Londarts, with two IC being BJ Russ, three other SLs being Bus Driver Man Stan. His name's too long to actually be fully presented. Uh, and then we have Oddball and Sven. Uh, moving on over to the Militia side, we have Dix Falk, who is going to have two IC Inky. Uh, and then we have three other SLs, Nash, Utopian, and Odile. And uh, that's a quick roll on that one. Now we're going to look at the team loadouts. So for the Russian side first, we have squad levels. We're going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, and one medic. Platoon armory consists, uh, I think we're going with four plus squads actually, which is going to be two times LAT and one ammo bear. Uh, vehicles, none, unless four plus squads, which is going to be the additional two Tigger open top courts. Uh, and then we've got uh, no fob logistics and uh, three artillery smoke barrages for support. Moving on over to the militia side. 
the Militia Infantry Squad levels going to be one SL, two FTLs, one AR, and one Medic. Let's see here. We've got one Radio Squad, which is going to be one SL, one Engineer, uh, one AR, and one Medic. One HVT Squad, which is going to be one HVT own squad, apparently. Um, and Platoon Armory is, because we do have four plus squads, additional two LATs and one Ammo Bearer. Vehicles none. Fop logistics varies depending on the support of the people. As we saw in round one, that can uh, vary heavily. Uh, let's see if I can figure out what they had in round one. So the first transmission was probably a drone. The second transmission, on the other hand, the one that uh, took out four people, uh, was the 82 millimeter mortar six round which would have been a roll of a 6 on a 1d6. Once again, if you would like to look at that table and uh, understand what possibly could happen, um, type in exclamation mark up doc in chat, and I'll provide you with a link to our operations doc. With that out of the way, though, I'll bring you all in. We can listen to Londarts uh, serenade his entire crew into uh, his plan. All right, guys, welcome round two, Operation Shockwave. Great uh, first round, really exciting finish there. Um, could have gone either way. You guys did uh, did great. This round with the Russians, we're attacking. Our mission is to um, to find where the uh, rebels are transmitting their their propaganda from and uh, cause it to stop. Uh, we've got intel to suggest they have a transmission site somewhere in the crucibles. So if you open your maps and reference the mine markers, the uh, the three tall towers are the crucibles. Um, we're going to deploy uh, most of our uh, advanced forward forces up to the north and they're going to scout for us where the militia uh, transmission site may be. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, organising out of Maine uh, in terms of uh, taking the Tiger back to pick up bus driver, um, sorry, taking the Tiger back to pick up Sven squad um, to get him up to the, um, the front lines a bit quicker. Uh, stand squad, squad three is going to be walking the whole way. Apologies guys, but... Um, you're in good hands there with uh, Stan. I'm sure he'll make it uh, fun for you. Um, your mission, um, essentially, guys, is to, to take a position up. We're going to identify which of the uh, crucibles they're transmitting from, and then we're going to collapse on it as a platoon from north to south. A little bit of an easterly coming in from three. Uh, we should get pretty quick eyes on uh, Crucible Alpha because uh, the Tigers Squad 2 has us. And we're going to drop Squad 4 just allows them to see that location. Um, if they're not there, we'll have Squad 3 checking Crucible Gamma, which is the eastern mine marker. And by, um, you know, in elimination, if they're not in any of those two, they must be in Crucible Bravo, the southernmost uh, tower, Echo 576. Doesn't change the vector of attack. We'll still be um, sweeping from, from north to south. Key thing in this mission is violence of action. The uh, partisans, uh, you know, we're in their uh, home court here. They know these mountains like the back of their hands. So we need to be fast, violent. Um, and decisive in our movements. So once we've identified the objective, we're going to uh, start uh, pushing on it pretty hard. I do have a few command assets up my sleeve, such as uh, off-map artillery smoke. So that should allow uh, any crossing on the open terrain, but it's really gonna boil down to um, the sort of stuff we teach in SOTT basic. Shoot and move, right? Have one element, uh, whether it's yeah, a buddy pair for another buddy pair, whether it's an individual for another individual, whether it's for a fire team for another fire team, or indeed even squads supporting each other, we're going to bound by fire onto the objective and take it out while maintaining 360 degree security because the partisans will start to come out of the, uh, the woodwork once we commence our assault. Any questions? All right, awesome. Let's get ready for live. And we are live for round two. I think I see why uh, the militia side possibly lost. So much discord going on in the uh, ranks here.
killed. That's a rogue. Alright, stop. If you couldn't stop and post it to squad three. Just until like he's up near you guys. Hopefully regroup it. See if Apocalypse Joe okay. is looking down on them. Alright, command, this is two. What am I, two? Yeah, command, this is two. We're gonna move across the road now. We're at point proper. Right, Odds are Apocalypse Shit, Joe the, has uh, spotted Decrum's crew. Mainly watching its west and your south. You're all, you're all weapons free at your discretion. I do apologize for the low frame rates that happen every now and then. I do not know what is up with this lair, but it so is I guess my buddy now? having a field day with my FPS. Cub. You have good eyes? No, not yeah, really. All you see is trees. This shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Man, this is two. Can you let me know when we're set to progress the movement? Uh, if you want to probe southwest, you're good to do so. Make sure you got rear security to your northwest. Work with Lobball best you can to get um, just a really strong foothold there. Oh, yeah, any sign and any activity? Or are you guys in too much low ground to see the... Uh, See the objective. Uh, we see objective from the most northern objective. Uh, no signs of any enemy at this time. Alright, right. right. Disregard, it is the most southern tower. tower. Most southern tower? N most northern tower. Most, most northern, northern tower. tower. One right, enemy right, spotted right. one time. Ooh, someone took a loud shot at a poor Apocalypse Joe. He has survived the blast and he is now getting small arms fire at him. I say small arms fire, but it's not really small. Alright, Roger. Can I have two? I want you to start bounding by fire team to the south southwest. I want you to up on that reef. Copy that, we're doing so. Got another lap out. Looks like they got two. It was vital and uh, Apocalypse Joe. No, not Apocalypse Joe. Ah, shoot. Who was the other one? I didn't see his name. Oh, well. Roger. They're dead. Sven, once you've picked up the Tiger, I want you um, deploying just to the uh, west of Squad 2. And we've got the militia forces coming in from the uh, west. Two. Squad two and squad four are positioned on the north of the tower. Are we wanting to put down a smoke? Uh, if you're ready to assault, yes. Um, just give me about, give me about a minute or ball until three lets me know what's going on here at Gamma, if we've got any contact. If not, then for sure we'll press the button on it. Okay, I'm stuck. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Grizz taken out by DJ Russ. Lemon Sledge taken out by Tan or Astros. Copy. Good movement from the militia forces round two here. Instead of putting all their forces on point, they kept them off to the side until the assault began to uh, sidelong the Russians. Not a bad tactic. She's gonna need to go on the south side of the objective to get into that northern tower. It looks like they've also sent a contingent over to the southeastern tower. Just get three suppressed once he gets control of the gun. Copy. Alright, smoke about to go down now. 
Eight five. This is this is two. Be advised, I'm with my Tiger with your Tiger. This is for your infantry. hard to see what's going on here. I'm going to try and find a good aerial angle. That's a possibility. Vital moving up. And Matt Honcho. Matt Honcho taken out. Nope, that's not Vital. That was the Cheese Man. Cheese Man taken out. Ooh, asterisk taking out uh, Mr. Toaster from the pro. Contact within 100 meters to our west. Roger, get you guys spread out, um, get a base of fire going, detach a buddy pair to go east and south and flank that contact you called out. Squad 3, please provide And we've got smoke falling on, on the tower. tower. Russian push to the tower. Alkaline's gonna get the first kill, possibly on Javi. Coming in the front door. No, Javi is stopped. Alkaline pushing out. Trying to get Javi. Javi got around the corner. Alkaline survived the blast. And it looks like Javi and Alkaline traded. Pantango pushing in. AFR, North of Command, FYI. And Tango. Can't see what's going on here. Too much smoke. All right, so we got Tutti Root in the bottom. Uh, what was that? Northern corner. Fantango on the exterior. Alongside Bear Ars. Alongside Oddball. Oddball tossing his smoke in. The situation is five got guys on their north. Two not paying attention. Oh, still gets a kill on Bear Ars. Fantango should have been hinted towards where he is. Oddball. Oddball gets two. That's clear on the bottom floor. They still have Utopian in the top. And it looks like Utopian was taken out by Fantango. Looks like the Russian forces will be getting the radio here. Uh, they need to take it fast, though. Good blitz there. Right, let's go focus on some other things. Looks like we have... Squad 3 of the militia forces pushing up to the eastern tower. Not sure what their plan is here. If you're not in an advantageous position, you can't fall back because it's pretty much anywhere you go to yeah, it looks like they stalled. They are making a hasty, hasty pullback to the northwestern tower. Grid marker, grid marker, um, Yakko 439. Echo 439, Roger. We are digging the radio. Potential enemies upstairs in the tower. I've got a bit on my west and south. We're going to try and uh, fend off what's on the outside. He's on the other side of that so squad 5, squad 3, trying to be aggressive with the contact, clear it out. Ultimately though, we need to uh, get and reinforce squad 4's position. Copy that. 
Still ten foot enemy upstairs. I have to stay in smoke. And I still available Ooh. if anyone needs it to move. Decker, I'm trying to take out Colty with a lat. Yeah, takes a bit. No, that was, was unsuccessful. And now he is blatantly taunting the enemy and paying the price for it. I'm trying to uh, taking out Flame Mage, but Nashville does get the hit on Decrum. West and clear out whatever is on the east and southeast. Godfather getting pegged West down from Hill. Road. Let's see here. Cheese Man taking some pot shots. Fulcrum knows he's down there, but I don't think he can see him. Which bush wookie can do it first? Is it going to be Cheese Man or is it going to be Fulcrum? Through that smoke garage is for you to move. I want you clearing the east side of Falls Like. Doesn't look like it's going to be either. Cheese Man's going to move on. Let's go check on the militia forces down here. We've got three sandwiched on the exterior. Downhill. Man, they have just been doing ring around the rosy over here. Oh, Polar Bar taken out by a nade from I think that was Coops. Coops also taken out by a nade. Is to move to F4. That is unfortunate. Although I did notice y'all's uh, comments on the smoke barrage. Yes, they are very cool. <laughs> I still need to remember to turn off screen shake. Alright, looks like... Oh, wait. J-Cat's moving. Enemies at the southern tower. A couple of them. Nope, we got no movement, but we do have more smoke coming in. I am not sure. I don't believe that's going to be the uh, militia. The militia lost their radio, so they uh, shouldn't be getting any form of uh, support from the people. Lumpy Penny D pushing up. JCAT gets uh, Penny D and Lumpy, leaving Zuba in the back. Good job to JCAT taking out two. CG Fu and Dick's Folk pushing around. CG Fu gets taken out, not sure by who. Dick's Folk pushing downhill. And we're gonna go push back up to the tower because I see some interesting things going on here. Why does it look like the uh, Russian forces have abandoned the tower? Roger. No, no, they've got two on the top, Dando on the side, and Charlie Foxtrot as a militiaman sitting on the exterior and being shot to death by Alpha Guido. That is unfortunate. That is going to be my uh, catchphrase for the day. Uh, unfortunate is a lot of things. Colty over here got Sten coming up on his rear. Push north as well as that contact that you're up close against now. Fuck it went. Ooh, nade out, but not in the right direction. Smoke over the rocks. Huffle hint, if you are in foliage like this, throwing a smoke is probably the worst thing you can do. Because not only does that tell people where you are, but now you have a permanent right, marker for the area. Wagons, check the maps. Come watch the angles in. If I go down, it'll be all bull, then uh, stand. Good job, dude. That's that in here. Well, not really permanent, but, you know, a long-lasting marker for, hey, there's someone in this area. Militia are being rolled this round. They had a fantastic plan, but looking at the lack of militiamen left on the map, I must say it fell through heavily. Ooh, and that's Sten coming in with the uh, shot, Colty. See Sten, Colty taking out Sten. 
Not bad. Oh, it doesn't look like Zuba managed to bandage fast enough. Jeez, man. Choosing the horrible option to uh, crawl out in the middle of the open. Uh, Dando taking the opportunity to shoot him. And Colty. Also. <laughs> not in the right position. Remember what I said. Keep things between you. That is GG for round two. That has got to be the fastest... GG I have ever witnessed. Okay. Well.